The attorney for the man accused of ordering the murder of Tupac Shakur says his client is close to posting bail and could soon await his trial from his Henderson home. That development as a judge moves that trial to later this year. 8 News Now investigator David Charn speaking with that attorney. And David, he says this is going to be big. Yeah, Kirsten, so big he needs more time to go over the evidence prosecutors have against his client. Now, if this schedule holds, Dwayne Davis would go on trial in November. And today his new attorney says he can win. Well, it's the biggest case that <laughs> since OJ. Why wouldn't you want to take this case on? It's a big case Dwayne Davis's new attorney is taking head on. Davis, charged with murder and the death of Tupac Shakur, hiring Carl Arnold in January. Page six, Dwayne Davis. In court Tuesday, Arnold asked a judge to give him time to review the evidence, pushing a trial to November. Prosecutors allege Davis was the shot caller, ordering the rapper's killing a block off the strip. Over the past several years, Davis has made public comments about that night and handing the shooter a gun, though police never found the weapon. Arnold says prosecutors will have to prove truth beyond Davis's own words. Right now, the state hasn't provided any evidence to corroborate the statement that he's given. Metro Police arrested Davis in September, and he's remained in jail since. Arnold says his client is close to posting the $75,000 he needs to go on house arrest. He's upbeat that he can possibly get out of here real soon. In the meantime, all eyes are on the fall. It's going to be a great, great trial, I'll tell you that. So if Davis comes up with that money to post bail, remember his total bail is 750000 but he just needs to put up a portion of that. He'll have to go before the same judge again and tell her just who is paying for it. I'm David Sharns, 8 News Now. Thank you, David. If the trial schedule holds for November, it will mark 28 years since Shakur's death.